Hi, and welcome to my channel, Night Owl Collage. I'm Amber, and I hope you're ready to be summer-inspired. This tutorial is part of a collaboration hosted by Rach and Bella Crafts. Of course, it's called Be Summer Inspired. This is the uh, list of the creators that will be part of the collaboration. It's an A to Z collaboration to give you some inspiration through August and September. I will put a link to everybody's channel in the description box so you can check out everybody's video. There will be a giveaway for watching the everybody's videos and liking and commenting on their videos so make sure you are taking part in that so you don't want to miss that. The hashtag is Be Summer Inspired and so follow that hashtag for the daily videos and the post. I will create a playlist of the videos as well so you can easily find them there and I think every Sunday will be Rachel from Rachel Bella Crafts um, with a freebie so you don't want to miss that either and the kits we'll be using are the first one is called Sounds of Summer really beautiful really bright vibrant colors just love the whole kit and then there is the Sounds of Summer ephemera that goes along with it and there is a Nana's Roses kit we will be using all three of those kits in this tutorial but if you don't have them or you can't get them right now, you can adjust to whatever kits or images that you have. Just uh, follow along with the basic idea of um, what we're gonna be doing. Let's go ahead and talk about what we're gonna be doing today. Okay, so the B Summer Inspire collaboration is an A to Z collaboration. Um, so we've got a prompt list for each letter and you can get this, um, it's a freebie on the Rage and Bella Crafts Kofi site. Uh, so, or you can take a screenshot here if you want. I was given the letter C, clever, clever, clever Rachel for giving Night Owl Collage C. We've got camping, cycling, coastal, cottage, collage, which I'm definitely going to use charms and clusters so we are going to do collage but we're going to do collage my way you know when we uh typically see collage in and the junk journaling world it is you know taking these really pretty scraps of paper and pages and arranging them in a really beautiful um pleasing way but the way i do collage is like this mainly in the absurdist genre doing like silly and um, surreal kind of scenes um, I don't want to focus on the silly surreal strange aspect but I do want to focus on the scene aspect so we're going to be creating a beach scene and um, but we're gonna make it nice and pretty and beautiful um, and we're also going to be using charms and it's going to be a journal cover. So we've got three C's there. We've got um, collaged, cover, uh, and charms. So we're gonna be using all those three in our, um, in our project today. So I hope you have a lot of fun and you get to experiment with the way that I do collage. And if you don't like it, no big deal. At least you tried it. But I hope some of you do and you'll come back to it and, and use it again sometime. All right, I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of um, digital manipulation with your kits so that you can be cre as creative as you like with them. Um, so to create our collage, I want this little girl to be our focal point um, in the collage. And this is from the Nana's Roses, Nana's Roses kit. And I don't want to print out all these other journal cards. I just want to print out this one with the little girl. 
So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go up to Edit Image, and this is just in my Photo Viewer um, in Windows. So I'm going to go to Edit Image, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, move my cursor so that becomes an arrow. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag um, this box so that it is just encompassing this one journal card. We'll go to each side, click, and drag. So now that we have just this journal card, and when you save it um, to wherever you want to save it, make sure you know where you're saving it to. Um, do not click, don't click save, because then you'll lose your original image. Click save as copy, and then name it what you would like it. So that way you preserve your original image, and you have the new image. So do save as copy, and then we're going to open up. I already saved mine, so I'm going to open up that image. Okay. So now I have this image, and I want to print it to the size that is going to be best for my collage. So my journal cover size is going to be about um, 6 by 9 ish. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the three dots to for print. Go to print. Make sure my orientation is correct. I'm going to come down to photo size. Now if I print it full page, it's going to be huge and that is not what I need. So I'm going to click this drop down box and I'm going to click 4 by 6. If I print her in a 4 by 6 size, then she will be about the right size for what I want to do. So then I'm just going to click print and I'm going to print this on heavy copy paper. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to pull up this journal kit or journal page from the Sounds of Summer journal kit. And the this beach right now um, is not the way I want it because I think the little girl would still look a little too big on this beach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it. So we're going to back to edit image. And on this one, we want to make sure this aspect ratio is not on free. We want to keep it to the original. Okay, make sure that is um, that is clicked. Then we're going to come up in the corner here with this diagonal arrow. And we're going to shrink it down to about um, the top of that bee's head there. Okay. So that is about how I have it. I think then the little girl is going to fit nicely on this beach. About right there. And then you're going to save as copy, name it what you'd like, and make sure you know where you save it. Okay? And then we're going to open up that. So now this is my new cropped background, and I'm going to print this um, full page on um, cardstock. Okay, so we're going to do fill page, full page on cardstock, since this is going to be a journal cover. Okay, so then we need some of the fussy cuts to go along, to go along with our collage. So Rachel did a great video on how to do this, um, and I'll link that down below. Um, hopefully you can follow, follow along with what I'm showing you how to do. So what we want to do is we want to print multiple pages. This is not the right one. Um, we want the ephemera kit. Okay. So we want multiple pages on one page, and we want to shrink them down um, very small so that we can use them in our collage. So the pages that I want are this one with the lighthouse and the seashells and the starfish. So we're going to click that one. Uh, this one also has some seashells, so I'm going to click that one. 
the, this one has butterflies that I want to use. We're going to click that one. And then this one has a journal card with a butterfly that I also want to use. So we're going to click that. Okay, so now all that these are clicked, we're going to right click on one of those images. And we're going to go down to show more options. And then we're going to click print. Now right now it is showing full page photos that so this would print four pages of full page photos, but we don't want that. We want to shrink them down. I, For my journal size, I want them wallet size. Um, it might be smaller or larger depending on your journal size. Um, so it's going to print these four pages on one sheet in this very small, um, in this very small size. And we just click print and we're going to print those on heavy copy paper. Okay, that's all there is to it. I'm going to print these out and then I'll show you what they look like all printed out and we will move on from there. Okay, these are printed. Um, this is our background. I'm going to cut this down to um, slightly smaller than eight and a half by five and a half. Um, that is the um, remember I'm using my GI Joe box. So this is about eight and a half by five and a half, but I'm going to make it slightly smaller than that. Um, and I'll, you'll understand why in, when we get into it. Um, so I'll probably make it about, um, I'll probably make it about five by eight actually. Um, so we have a quarter inch margin on, around it. So I'm going to cut that down to five by eight. And then here's our little girl and I'm going to cut around, um, here I'm probably going to cut this rose off. Um, I'm just going to cut out the little girl, not these. Well, I might cut out those butterflies. I might use them. <clears throat> I'm going to keep the butterfly on her hand. And I'm going to come in with an X-Acto knife in here to um, let me show you here. To cut out this area right here. Okay. Um, I don't think there's any other areas where you need to cut out like inside here. So I'm going to cut her out minus these, this rose here. And then actually printed two of these so I could have more butterflies, but I should, uh, I, it was a second, <laughs> it was an afterthought. So I should have just put them all on one page, but it was an afterthought. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to cut out all the shells and the starfish, the sand dollar, this little lighthouse here. Um, I don't want, see how there's like a blue border? I want to try to cut inside that because I, I don't want the blue border. So I'm going to do my best to cut inside that. I'm going to cut out these butterflies and this butterfly. So let's get all that cut out and we will start putting this together. All right, I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to just cut out this area um, in between her feet. Because we want this scene, the pieces that we put in the scene to look seamless, as seamless as possible. Now we put her on the beach. There, she looks just about the right size there. Yeah, I think down here a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out these shells of things. Okay, we've got all of our little pieces cut out, and we are gonna start with the little girl here. Move this to the side. 
going to get my um, X-Acto knife. So what we want to do is we want to make her look like she's collecting shells instead of flowers. Now, if this were a typical collage for me, um, I, you know, I usually do the absurdist collages. So I would use, I would probably put like tentacles coming out of here or something like that to make it kind of funny and strange. But we're going to keep this beautiful and sweet for the gentle journaling community. And we're going to do seashells. So we're going to um, cut right along this edge of her dress that's acting like a pocket so that we can tuck in these um, seashells here. So I'm going to try to zoom in a bit so you can see a little better what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to turn her and I'm going to start I'm not all the way at the edge, just kind of in just a little bit. And I'm going to cut right along the edge of that fold in her dress. Okay. And I am going to also cut out this rose because it's right in the way of everything. And I'm going to leave this rose in there. I don't mind if she has one rose in there. This kind of may, I don't know, maybe it's like seaweed, something like that, hanging out of her dress. But um, she'll probably find a rose along the shore somewhere, somebody's little seaside cottage. So I don't mind there being a rose in there. Okay, so we're cut that rose out. And then we have this slit here. Let me just make sure that's all the way cut through. So you can see that we have this slit now where that fold in her dress is. So that's where we're gonna tuck our seashells. So I'm going to, let me see, let me get tweezers because I don't wanna put my hand in the way of the camera when it's zoomed in. I can't find my good tweezers, so these will have to do. But. Um, I'm just using these just so my hand doesn't get in the way when we're doing this. So um, I'm going to use this, I'm going to use this larger shell to cover up this hole in here. Oh, these tweezers are terrible. I don't like these. They don't hold very well. Okay. Okay. Just going to scoot that in there. Okay. I don't want to cover up her arm because I, it, if anything, it would be under her arm. Um, I might actually, you don't have to do this, but I'm thinking I might actually tuck that under her arm a little bit just so it looks a little more integrated. So you don't have to do this part. You can just keep it away from her arm, but I just want to do this because that's my, what I do. That's my thing. Might cut this a little bit more. Okay, there. Now it's a little bit tucked under her arm. Okay. Then I'm going to, I think, take um, this um, call it a uh, starfish okay there you go <laughs> couldn't think of it for a second so I'm gonna have this starfish kind of falling out of her dress there just kind of almost falling out and then I want this pink one if I can pick it up here we go okay I want this pink one in front of this one for a little bit of contrast with that pink. Try not to let my hand get too much in the in the way. And then the sand dollar will give another nice contrast to that as well. So I'm gonna use the sand dollar right next to it. Just try not to get my hand in your view. Oh, 
Oh, these tweezers are horrible. I need to get better ones. Okay, I'll lift that up a little bit. And I, this looks a little empty here, so I do want to put another one. Okay, so here's another pink one. I'm just going to tuck it back behind these. All right, so now her dress is full of all these seashells. I also want her to be holding one. Uh, so I'm going to take this seashell and I'm going to tuck it. That's why I cut out that um, the roses and the greenery in that, in that she was that she had in her arms. So I'm going to just tuck that right there so that she is holding on to that seashell. So once you arrange it how you like it, go ahead and take a snap a picture of it and use it for reference as you are gluing it down. Cause I know I've done that a lot where I have placed everything perfectly. Then I moved it and then I forgot how I wanted it. So take a snapshot and then we're going to go ahead and glue that down. I'm going to use my, um, my glue pen, my ballpoint glue pen, cause that's a lot easier. Um, I would recommend if you have something with a precision tip, like a, like art glitter glue or something, um, or even a glue stick for this. So, um, let's start that. So I'm going to remove these and then we're going to go ahead and glue these in. It would be a lot of fun to do, to do a whole journal um, with collage pages like this. Just like small, tiny ones, maybe in the corner, just to do something a little fun on each page. I think that would be a lot of fun. And then we want to, we don't want this, this part of the pocket here, of the pouch, to lift up. So we want to put a little bit of glue under there so it doesn't lift okay we'll put one under her hand too so her hand doesn't lift up all right I think we're ready to put this little girl on the beach okay all right so here she is on her background she looks so cute and we're going to put her down at the bottom here, but I don't want her just to sit on top. I want her to look a little more integrated than just placing her on top. So I'm going to cut a slit along here so that it looks like she is, her foot's in the sand. So I'm going to turn this a little bit. And I'm just going to kind of make a, a wavy line. Maybe kind of going up here. Toward this other line. Just kind of make it look connected. So now we can tuck her foot in there so that she looks like she's actually behind this little um, sand dune here. Okay, so actually I might tuck her in a little bit more. Okay, I think I like her right about there. Um, so I'm just gonna glue her, go ahead and glue her down and then we're going to add some other elements around here so this is not so blank. So let's go ahead. I think I'm gonna use since she's a bigger piece, I'm gonna go ahead and use my art glitter glue here. And usually I don't use, usually I don't use wet glue with um, my collage because it tends to wrinkle, but um, the ballpoint glue pen works really well, stays really flat. And I think this will be okay because this, of this heavy copy paper. 
and the cardstock, I think it's going to be fine. Um, so we're just going to go with that. I'm going to tuck her little foot in there again. Get her where I want her. Now, she looks like she is actually on the beach now, okay? And she's collecting her shells. So I want to also put this little lighthouse way back here. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see everything. Okay. So I wanna put this lighthouse back here. Again, I don't wanna just lay it on top. Let me see if I, which, which way do I want this? I might want it over here. Let me see. I'm gonna lay some stuff out because I want these butterflies. In my scene, she's got a little butterfly here on her hand. So I want these butterflies flying around. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. So I just want to test these out and see where I want the lighthouse. I might like it better on the other side. Okay, so do I like it better there? Or do I like it better over here? I think it's more balanced with it over here. Yeah, I'm going to put it over there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just, again, we're going to cut a slit right along this water line. And then we are going to, I'll use my glue pen again for this one because it's quite small. But any, a glue stick will work and any glue with a precision tip should be fine for these small pieces. I think glue sticks are really easy to work with when you're doing collage. tried to get out the the blue border so we're just seeing the lighthouse because I don't want any kind of border I want it to look seamless so I want to keep that little bit of land popping up okay got our lighthouse and then um, the last thing I want to add to the collage it's well no I want do want to add some more things I want to add some more seashells down here in the sand and some butterflies flying around. So let's do that. Let's kind of figure out where we want them first. Um, I kind of like this big butterfly, but I'm not 100% sure about it. I'll kind of have to fiddle with that and see where I, I like. This guy's blue, so I'm gonna put him up in the yellow section. I'm just gonna kind of put these where they pop out a little bit more. Just arranging these. Uh, that's from the actual journal card she was on. I don't know if I'm gonna put that in there or not. Or yeah, it doesn't seem to go really. So I might have to take that one out. Cut out quite a few little butterflies. If you don't wanna cut out all these tiny butterflies, you can probably find some like butterfly stickers or something like that. That would work just as well. Okay, I think I'm liking this position here. So let's go ahead and glue this down. I'm gonna attempt to just lift up pieces so I don't lose, because I fiddled around with this so much. I don't wanna lose the position that I had them in. I'm just gonna try to glue like one wing down and then do the the other side once I get them all down so they all stay in the same place. You know, I love collecting seashells with my kid um, when I was a kid and I love doing it with my own kids. 
but I still love collecting seashells just if I was <laughs> just by myself. I just, I just love it. It just brings me back um, to my childhood and um, we grew up near a beach and um, we didn't go that often but the times we'd go I, I just loved I loved picking up shells and I still do okay so our butterflies are glued down and now we're gonna add some more shells here okay we've got some more shells cut and we're gonna figure out where we want these I definitely want another sand dollar in there um, and I'm gonna be tucking them in to the sand probably I'll put one this little uh, line right here right by your feet I'll probably tuck one in there and let's put maybe this one just gonna make some some slits and see where I want to position these Growing up near the ocean, I was always mystified by people who had never seen the ocean before. You know, I took it for granted. I, you know, I once I didn't live by the ocean anymore, I, I just, I missed it so much. I'm glad that now we're only about two and a half, three hours from the beach, but there were times when we weren't by near a beach at all, and I missed it so, so, so much. Let's see, maybe put one here, I'm gonna put just, you know, just make kind of some curved lines with your craft knife and see where you can tuck these shells in to the sand. I did have my, uh, where did my sand dollar go? Oh, there it is, okay. And I might put, I might switch that one out. I might put the sand dollar back over here. Like it just washed up on shore there. Okay. And then maybe this one. Yeah, I think I like that about right there. And I think three is a good number. I think there's something about a rule of three in art or something like that. I don't know the specifics, but it seems to work. All right. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Very cute. Okay, so this is our finished collage, but now we're gonna turn it into something we can, we can use as a cover. So, um, so how we're going to do that is we're going to um, make kind of a border around this with tissue paper. So I've got this like, uh, it's kind of teal, not quite teal, but it, it's about this color on the, uh, on the background. So we're going to do a double layer. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of roughly cut this. This is about the right height. I might take some of that off, but just kind of, because this is going to be kind of a ragged edge, so it doesn't really matter if I cut this straight. I'm going to cut this in half so that we have two layers to work with.
Okay. Let me move this out of the way. And these extra little pieces will move out of the way. So we want to make this a ragged edge for what um, we want to achieve here. So I want this to be, I'm gonna use, actually you can just tear it. I'm gonna use my tearing ruler. So I'm gonna do one at a time here. I want this one to be pretty close to the edge. So you see this, that's about how close I want it to the edge for this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and start tearing that. It doesn't matter if it's perfect, you know. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to We're gonna fold this in and glue it down, okay? So these sides are gonna give us this, um, this ragged edge around here so that we don't have such a straight border here. So that is what we're going to do now. I'm gonna glue this. I'm just gonna use my, my um, art glitter glue use any glue you want, glue stick, glue pen, whatever, whatever works for you. And I know that you guys are all so creative. I know like if you don't have the same images or you don't want to use the same images, I know like you're going to create something so awesome. You guys are so creative. So if you um, if you're part of the junk journal trading post group, um, I'd love to see pictures of your collages um, if you post them there. That would be awesome. done with this part. All right. Okay. So, um, that's that part. Now we're going to use this pop, this section. We're going to, I actually might cut that down just a bit. Yeah. I think I want to cut that down a little bit more. And like I said, this, this doesn't have to be even, it doesn't have to be perfect at all because of what we're going to be doing with it. So just tear it, cut it, doesn't matter. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to glue this, the back onto here. to secure it in place. I'm going to glue right, that right on top there. Okay, so now that we've got this glued on here, we're just going to kind of crumple it up. Okay, we're going to just crumple this pull it in. Try to make it kind of uneven. So you don't get like a like a clean fold. You just want it raggedy and um, 
uneven okay okay so the reason I made this um, smaller in the journal cover is because when I put this on here I want this part this tissue paper to be glued down because normally with something like this I would let it hang over but because it's tissue paper it's gonna tear easily so I do want it secured to the cover itself and not overhanging it so that's why um, I made this a little smaller because I knew I wanted this border so it'll be on here like this but I'm going to secure little bits of this down the fold down like that okay so we still ha we maintain this this fold here this unevenness so just little just and you don't have to do it all over just little little areas that you want to keep folded in here I'll keep that one out and then once we put this on the cover then we'll be gluing that border down And this helps us give us uh, uh, this kind of raggedy edge too, so we don't have that straight line right there. This is not a piece where I want a lot of straight lines. Okay? All right, so next thing we're gonna do is um, I've got some washi tape that I want to put at the top here. I've got this uh, washi tape with um, starfish, I can't remember the name again, <laughs> starfish and seashells that I'm just going to put right at the top there. Um, it's completely optional. Um, you don't need it. I just happen to have this and I wanted to use it. so. <laughs> That's the only reason I'm putting it on here. So I've had it for a while and I was like, I need to use this with her on something. So this is the chosen project. Okay. And I probably won't love it, but because I want to use it. It looks a little crooked. Yeah, I think it's crooked. Let's see. Now I'm not sure if I want to put this on there. Mm. Because, see, it's a little covering up my butterfly a little bit. Let's see. Is that straight? No. I think I'll, okay, that looks straight. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to use that. And then this is where our charms come in. Uh, we are going to make some holes at the top of this. So I've got just one second. Okay, this is where our charms are gonna come in and we're gonna put a string of charms up here, just like this washi tape. It has kind of like a string of charms, or a string of sea creatures and seashells up here. 
So I kind of put a, a dot. Um, I need 12 since I have six charms. I need 12 holes. So they're spaced about a centimeter apart. So I'm going to use my awl. And mine is five inches wide, I believe. Um, my paper is five inches wide, which is about 12 and a half centimeters. So my, my uh, holes are spaced about a centimeter apart here. So I'm just going to come up here and I made those holes kind of close to the top. So I'm gonna come down a little bit and make my holes. I need to make them big enough for the jute string to go through easily. Okay, now we've got our holes there. I'm going to take a length of jute and I'm going to weave it from the back. We may need some help here. The hole isn't big enough. You can also always thread it through like a, a tapestry needle or something to help bring it through. Okay, so we pull, pulled the string through and left a short tail and we're going to start threading on our charms. So first I have a seashell. And then we're going to thread that through back through the next hole. I would probably make my life easier if I just used an embroidery needle or a tapestry needle. <laughs> but I just don't feel like getting one out. Searching through my stuff to find one. Okay. Okay. So we're going to thread on our charms like that. Um, and I have five more charms to put on. So I'm just going to thread those really quick and speed it up. have our charms up at the top our little seaside charms so we've got a shell a seahorse a sea turtle a cute little fish an octopus and a starfish so we're not going to knot this back here because we don't want a big knot when we're trying to glue down the cover so we're just going to use some fabri to glue that down either side that hold for a, for a minute and then where the last thing we're going to do is we're going to um, put some of this jute all around the outside edge of the cover and then we will be done and then we just add, then you just add it to your journal the top of your journal it will be beautiful let's cut this off Okay, so let's move those out of the, the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put like a wavy line of Fabri-Tac along this um, blue border we made, one side at a time. And I'm just going to add the jute along that line of glue.
So if this was your first time with collage, how did you like it? Was it something you'd try again? Something that was frustrating for you? Um, I know for me, cutting out the little pieces and um, kind of like a, a puzzle, smooth, maneuvering them and um, shifting them around, it's, it's kind of a peaceful thing for me. It's a, I know it can be frustrating for some because um, there's a lot of scissor, precise scissor work involved and, but I enjoy, I enjoy all the intricate cutting. <laughs> cute okay we've got a seaside scene this is gonna be my journal cover on from my GI Joe box so that will go right on there um, I am not sure how I'm gonna decorate this side in the back yet so once I figure that out um, you'll see pictures of the finished journal cover um, when I figure that out but um, I hope you enjoyed this project today and that you'll try some more collage and uh, make your own journal covers. I would love to see them. If you can post them in the group, that would be so fun. Um, I'd love to see everybody's um, interpretation of this. That would be, I mean, that would just be great. So um, yeah, definitely don't be shy. Post. Group is very supportive and um we all love to see your creations, no matter if you're a beginner or you've been doing this for a while. So definitely post um, in the group, join the group, post in the group, and you'll see, you, you'll get a lot of support um, and help. it'll help you gain some confidence in your ability if, you, if you're a little shy about it. But cause you know, we all create, create in our own ways and art is art, art is for everyone and everyone has their own aesthetic. And I just love to encourage people to be creative and share, share their, their art with others. So um, thanks for coming in today. Don't forget to use the hashtag um, be summer inspired and leave a, make sure you watch all the other videos and leave a comment and like the video for to be entered into the giveaway so you don't want to miss out on that because um, this is a collaboration to help new and upcoming channels uh, on YouTube um, grow their channels I know when I did my first collaboration it, it really really helped my channel grow so um, all that support really really helps and I mean this is something we all love to do right and it, it's great to get some support Thanks for watching today. Thanks for all your support. Hope you liked this tutorial um, and this project. It was really fun to put together and um, can't wait to see what you guys come up with and how you reinvent it. Have a great day, guys.